such an, uh, a good question. So as you probably know, I'm also an ADHD coach, right? And my daughter was, well, I diagnosed her like five years ago. <laughs> Um, okay, for people that don't know me, first of all, I'm a pediatrician. I'm also an ADHD life coach, but I coach professional women, so more the moms. So a lot of the strategies that I teach my my clients, I've kind of been using it with my kids, and I have ADHD myself. So those things I wish I knew I had been using it on my daughter. But one thing I started to notice was she almost felt like out of place. Like she did, even though I knew there were other kids in her class that had ADHD, it was not my place to tell her that, yes. you know, just like talking with parents and stuff. And I felt like there was a part of her that felt like she was different. Like, why am I not like everybody? So when I found out about Dr. Bauer's course, I was like, this is fantastic. So I enrolled her in and oh my goodness, she loved it. She now wears ADHD as something she's very proud of. She talks about how everybody is unique and this is just her brain wiring. She uses like terms that I didn't even know at her age now. Um, every now and then she talks about her aunts and because a lot of her issue, like we talked about earlier, is my emotional dysregulation. Um, she's a little OCD like I am. So like we plan a lot together. So she's gotten that part down. But the emotional part has been the hardest for us, right? Without mm -hmm. us being like, oh my gosh, it's not that serious, you know? <laughs> so like every now and then she's like, oh my gosh, I feel like I have ends. And we're like, what did we talk about in class? And we kind of replay it. And I think it's been amazing and seeing other kids just like her, mm -hmm. just love having fun, not feeling quote unquote bad or feeling like they're, they're a bad child for having ADHD. Like, why would I have ADHD? Um, and something I talk to my clients about, like, I want you to thrive with ADHD and uh, thrive in life in spite of your ADHD. Yes. And I see her living in spite of her ADHD and focusing on the good parts of it. Um, and we started talking earlier about how she's not going through her entrepreneurship journey. You know, she's like, mommy, you know, people like us that have ADHD, we just think a lot, right? And we're good at strategizing. Yes. <laughs> yes. Like, she she was, I'm like, yes, baby. Yes, baby. She was like, so I think I can do it as long as I have my good strategies. <laughs> Oh. And I'm so proud of her, right? Like, yes. you know, nothing more than a mom wanting her child to, like, thrive and do well. And I, I really do think the the course had an amazing impact on her. And as we were talking about earlier, like, and not only from, a, oh, my kid loved it, she loved being around other children, also saying that what you were teaching them were what I teach adults. <laughs> But in a manner that they remember, right? And they didn't see that I'm going to a course. It was more like, oh, I'm going to hang out with friends. Yes. And we're going to learn about ADHD today. And it was very fun. Oh, she had okay. way more fun <laughs> than I thought she would. <laughs> yes, Junior Detective. I think her name was Cutie. Cutie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it was such a pleasure having her. <laughs> um, so, yeah. And, you know, as you were just alluding to, and we, uh, we should just say this out loud. People with ADHD, they rock, right? Oh, they yeah, got superpowers, absolutely. they're creative, they're, uh -huh. you know, they dream big. It's so it's just I love hearing that she's kind of owning it and stepping mm -hmm. into that and really yeah. loving the fact that absolutely. she's got ADHD and not like ashamed of it. No, not yeah. at all. Yeah. Not at all.